It wasn't until Ali invited us into his room that we truly understood the luxurious lifestyle that he was living and the extent of the sacrifice that he was making. What's all this, Ali? Talk to me, explain this. It's stuff. a bracelet, yani. Costs about 60,000. 60, $60,000? 60, yeah. What do you have in these boxes, Ali? They're all my shoes. I'm good, though. Louis Vuitton? All Louis Vuitton. How much is something like this worth, Ali? They're probably about 1300. How much you pay for that, Ali? About 700. Thongs? For a pair of thongs, yeah. So what's happening with the sunglasses here, Ali? I just like collecting different sunglasses. Yeah? I've got rid of a lot of them. I gave them to a couple of brothers at, in Africa, alhamdulillah. Can I try one of these hats on? I've only mentioned them in my talks like a hundred times. You can try the red one on. It's limited edition one. Barakallah. What do you reckon, Niels? Shaykh, Shaykh Bucci. <laughs> What's happened to you? And at this point in my life, well, uh, yani, I've been gifted, yani, alhamdulillah, by Allah, with um, yani, cancer throughout my body. To give because um, yani, Allah has given me a chance to, to change. How long have you had cancer? Four months now. Ali was diagnosed with stage 4 cancer and given only seven months to live. Upon finding the news, he immediately sold his successful business and was forced to reconsider the lavish lifestyle he was accustomed to. Everything was to change. Ali, what was your reaction when you came to know you had cancer? I got rid of my, my cars, I got rid of my watches, even my clothes. I took them with me overseas and I, and I gave them to a lot of people up there. So I wanted to try to leave this world without anything. So you're on a mission to get rid of your dunya? <laughs> Ali's interest in the dunya has left him abruptly and no longer holds a place in his heart. So Ali, what do you feel now like when you look at this? And driving something like this doesn't really cross my mind anymore. It's not, you know, it's not something I would want to do no more. After someone tells you or you find out that you're sick, or well, you haven't got much time in this life. Well, this is the last thing yani, you would want to chase. And this, this is how we should be living our life every day. How like these people would love to be in it, people would love to own, people would love to drive it. Well, they're going for the wrong goals. And you realize that when you get sick, when someone tells you you haven't got long to live, you realize all this stuff it does not benefit us in any way. So what's the value of this in your heart now? This, this is worth yani, one pair of thongs for, for, for a for a little African child with no thongs. Wallahi, it's worth more than me to see him smile with a pair of thongs than own one of these. Wallahi al-Azim. Ali has since dedicated the remainder of his life and wealth to helping those who are far less fortunate than him. As you all know, Alhamdulillah passed away. I just wanted to make a little video clip and for the brothers and sisters that are chasing this life, <laughs> well, my advice to you guys is this life is becoming, yeah, before we used to say five years ago, ten years ago, certain things were happening. Now it's every month things are changing. Tell you, we're following our desires more than we're following Islam these days. We're just going to be careful. Because, well, that's not a joke anymore.